Hi guys, welcome to my next video, which I apologize in advance because it's literally the worst video on YouTube. But you know what? One thing that I'm starting to become aware of is on this platform, the more you try to do things to please your viewers, and not that you shouldn't because without you guys, viewers, there will be no YouTubers, but you have to sort of start drawing a line between living your life for, uh, what's how do I put it? Living your life for, I don't know, the likes or the feedback or, you know, the instant gratification and like part of me like wants to rebel, you know, like I know I should be doing X, Y, Z or I feel like I should be doing X, Y, Z to have a really great video. But then I'm, I also feel like, but I don't want to have to feel like that. I just want to do whatever I want to do. And maybe perhaps this video is like the anti YouTuber or maybe not. Maybe this is like exactly what you guys want to see. And I feel like I want to be my own self. And that's, you know, I, I do want to be myself on camera, but it's really difficult. First of all, it's hard to talk into a camera with literally there's nobody there. Um, and also I'm always conscious about like, who can hear me talking? Is my husband going to hear me talking and wonder who you're talking to, you know, and overhear my conversation with you guys. So I'm always like self-conscious about when I'm filming and, and I hate the way I talk. <laughs> I hate the way I sound. So I've been filming videos, not really talking and not really having a conversation with you guys. But I guess today I said, screw it. I was feeling kind of like, oh, I'm not being productive. I just need to go film. And so, yeah, this, I just had that and filmed. And I really didn't think I was going to post it. And then I thought, you know what? Maybe I'll post it at like one o'clock in the morning. And, you know, that way. And I won't advertise it. And, and then we'll just see what happens. And, yeah, that's it. So, my name is Camila. My channel is Haunted Glamour. I do mostly makeup. Um, these characters here. Things makeup like this. Um, I love glam and I love I love natural hair. I, I literally watch so many videos on on curly hair and natural hair. I just love watching them and learning about my own hair. So I do also like to do them myself um, and want to start doing more of those while also sticking to my I guess main theme which is makeup um, and anything really that has to do with like Halloween, scary, haunted, and the glam side of things. So I figured that name was an awesome name. I'm pretty proud of it that I came up with that. I designed my own logo or business card, I guess. Um, and I think it's pretty cool. I use Pick, Pick Monkey for that, Pix Monkey for this, which I love that app. Um, it's so easy to make thumbnails and just look professional without having like Photoshop skill set because I don't have a Photoshop skill set. But anyway, without further ado, um, I'm going to let you guys watch the crazy video. And yeah, hopefully you find something that you enjoy. And just thanks for letting me um, like not be perfect because I'm not perfect, obviously no one's perfect, but like I feel like I have to be perfect. And that is so stressful in itself. And, and yeah, that's it. I'm such a professional person in like my everyday life with my job. And then like the stress of like YouTube and then like having to be perfect. And I guess I'm rebelling. So that's it. I've already spoken for five minutes now and the video is already like 22 minutes long. And I don't know. I'll sort of try to edit it down to a shorter video. We'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I am trying to make YouTube partner. At first, I was like, I have to do it in a year. But now I realize as I'm filming, um, sorry, as I'm doing this and going through this journey that it's not going to happen overnight. You know, you have to work. It's just literally work. Um, and so now I know that it's a lifestyle, it's a journey, and, uh, and 
and I know that it's going to take a while and, and I'm okay with it now. So I'm not chasing fame. Um, I really don't envy like the celebrity's life in general. You know, you're always my constant like I and people are looking for you to like be perfect. And when you mess up, cancel culture, you know, sets in. And anyway, why am I still around? Like, I have no idea. Maybe this is a new me. Maybe I found myself and I'm talking to you guys now. Like, I like to watch videos where people are talking to me like this. I still have to create. And when I'm creating makeup looks and things like that, I can't do all of this. I got to be focused, you know? So, yeah. Thanks for stopping by, guys. And let's go on to that crazy video that's coming next. And I'll see you in my next video. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. So today, I just thought I would sit down and film something because I'm literally killing time, not being productive and thinking about I need to film a video. I need to I need to film a video. But then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have to put makeup on because look, I'm breaking out. My skin is horrible lately. I need to paint my nails. I need to comb my hair. I need to put something cute on. Um, and like, I'm thinking about, do I really wanna do all of that just to film a video? And I, I just said, you know what? Just sit down and film something and let's just see what comes out. I might not even post this. I probably won't post it. Um, but yeah, this is, I work all day. I've been having trouble sleeping actually lately, so I've been getting up a little bit late, but usually I start work at nine and I go to like around five, six o'clock, unless I have clients that wanna speak, then I'm, I make myself available or on the weekends, pretty much I, I can be available, you know, 24 seven, but I need time for me. So anyway, um, I'm going to, pull out some lipsticks that I have. Also, my husband is DJing right now on Twitch, live streaming. So you probably can hear that. Hold on. Here they are. So I ordered lipstick from Pat McGrath and I have yet to put them on because I want to film a video, but I just never got around to it. She had a sale on her lipsticks. So I found, okay, so I, I bought some lipsticks from Pat McGrath. I picked up I, and I'm sorry that I'm looking this way because I'm looking at myself in my phone and I can see my myself here, but the camera is there. So I have to remember to look there, which is basically me looking at the edge of my phone as opposed to looking at my face. So I'm trying to work on that. I want to look directly at you guys. Um, but my husband right now is live streaming on Twitch. He's DJing, so he's playing his music. And you could probably hear her in the background, and I'll try to cut it out as much as possible. So sorry about that if you can hear something in the background. So Pat McGrath was having a sale. I think the sale might be still going on. I'm not exactly sure, but her lipsticks, which are normally like $30 each, $35, um, were on sale for $12. So I already have six of them, and I paid full price, but... For $12, of course, I have to splurge. I bought three colors. So disappointed because I'll show you. I, I really wanted a brown lipstick, a brown lipstick. And this one is called Divine. Divine Brown. It's part of her matte trance collection. It's matte lipstick, and that's really the only kind that I purchased. Um, but when it came in the mail, it was covered in fuzz. Can we say Jaclyn Hill lipstick gate? Like, I don't even know. I want to see. And I'll probably insert some pictures if I end up posting this video. Um, but if you, I think you can see it. Even though I'm using my iPhone. Oops. You can see it's covered in fuzz. And I'm so disappointed because this is a color that I wanted. And first of all, I'm kind of disgusted because what the heck is that? Hold on. Where's the camera? Yeah. What the heck is that? Um, so, of course, I'm not going to put this on my lips. And... It took me three weeks to communicate back and forth with the customer service department for them to tell me that they don't have that color, they can't ship, it, ship me out a new one, they can just issue me a refund, and that was it. So I'm not trying on that color. But I do have Candy Flip, which is, okay, I did kind of lightly like touch my lips to it because I wanted to see what it would look like because I was dying to try that. Isn't that so pretty? It looks like candy. 
It looks really pretty. I'm sorry, I'm looking there again. It looks really pretty. Um, and then the other one I have is called, oh, that's the bad one. Ooh, I'm gonna put that back. That's why it was in the box, because that one's not getting used, and I'm not even gonna test it. I'm scared. Um, the other one is called Vendetta Matte Red. Look at that, ooh, pretty. And there's no fuzz. So, I don't have any makeup on. This probably will look silly for me to have lipstick on with no makeup on, but I'm gonna try it anyway. Where's my mirror? Hold on, I have a mirror. Oh, this is what happens when you sit down to film and you're not prepared. Being a YouTuber is hard. It's definitely really hard. I think I can say I'm a YouTuber now. I put out a few videos. I've learned to edit, make thumbnails. And so as long as I consistently keep putting out videos, I can still say that I'm a YouTuber. And I can't find my fancy mirror, so I'm just gonna use this one right here, whoops, which is right in front of me. Candy Flip. Let's see what that looks like. I look dead, <laughs> like a zombie. That looks terrible. Without the rest of my face done up, it looks terrible. Hold on. I'm gonna have to put on foundation now. I'm just gonna grab the first foundation I find. And that's, whoops, I'm dropping things. And that is L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte 110 Cream Cafe on this brush. I'm gonna just put some makeup on my face. Let me expose my my grays here. Let's see if this makes it look better. Let's see. Oh, this is a true test of how good this foundation is, right? If all of a sudden I go from looking busted to awesome. Whoop. There's some life coming back to my skin. All right. Why is, my, why is my hand all the way back here? <laughs> what am I doing right now? I have no idea. All right, the color is not terrible. Now that I have some foundation on, but still it's a little uneven because um, I have no mascara, I have no eyeliner, I have no concealer, no blush. Let me rectify that situation. Blush. I haven't even washed my makeup brushes either, so I'm like using the last brushes I have that are clean, that are not really for this, but okay. So I'm putting on some blush. I'm just gonna go sweep across all the way. Here we go. There's some life coming back to my face. This is in front of me, so we'll use it. A brow pencil. Quickly. Very quickly. Watch the transformation before your very eyes. All right, what else do I need? I need mascara and maybe some eyeliner. There's some eyeliner by uh, Physicians Formula. I'm gonna line the bottom. Oh, it broke! Oh gosh! I have more. Oh no. Okay, I have more. That broke. Let's try another. I'm gonna put the mirror in front so you can see. All right. Slowly. I'm not looking like a zombie. Mascara. Maybe a swipe of something on the eyelid. Let's go to Pat McGrath. Since we already have Pat McGrath lipsticks, let's go into the Pat McGrath uh, Celestial Divinity Palette. Here it is right here. And let me pick this. 
this color purple right here and swipe on my lids even though it doesn't match the lipstick oh so pretty though sorry I got excited because what how it looks like right there is how it looks on my eye and that's exciting oh my god what am I doing this is crazy if I try to blend up it'll look like my tried right um mascara you know what I always say if I was ever like stranded on a desert island and I had to pick one makeup product to come with me it would be mascara it just like makes you look alive something about your eyelashes being black and facing upward and fanned out just makes you look super feminine right all right so now it doesn't look terrible though I'm gonna put the hat back on does it look like I tried it kind of looks like I tried a little right I could have came online like this and be like hey guys what's up I'm back with another video and you would have never known if I stay close, I mean, if I don't get too close, you would have never known that I didn't really, like, put some effort into this. This video is not getting posted. I'm just making my own self feel better. I, don't, I can't even find a makeup wipe right now. It's a pretty color, though. It's just a little bright. I might tone it down with, like, a lip liner. All right, let's take it off and let's try the red one. Ooh. I've had this already for three weeks. Time to use it. Let's see. Oh, this one's pretty. This one's pretty. You know what? I have another red color, this map called Elson. I wonder how similar to this one it is there's elson that's elson <gasps> okay they are different they definitely are different this is more red this is more like a more like a coral red let's do um a swap so that's elson vendetta Wow, this one looks more, more red, more interesting. That'll look pretty when I actually have my makeup done right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you even watched this video, I'm sorry. I didn't, like I said, I didn't plan. Um, I do want to film. It's just the... No excuse. I just have to do it. That's it. I just have to do it. Like anything else in life. If you don't do it, you're never going to get better. You're never going to grow or succeed if you don't keep at it and you're not consistent. So that's it. I will see you in my next video. Peace.